Oh boy, we have something potentially special here today. There's almost always a new microphone every month. Sometimes they have better features, they're cheaper, or they just sound different. But once in a while comes a microphone that's so out of the box, but not this one because it's still... Getting back to business, a company called A-Labs reached out to me to do an unbiased review of what could be a breakthrough microphone. Guys, I present to you the A-Labs Iron Mini WL. A wireless condenser microphone. Who said that? I'm you from the future recording this voiceover outside the studio. Wait, you can do that? Yeah, I can totally- Hold on, you're spoiling the unboxing. Sorry. Now, not having cables is good in theory, but does it really come with- no strings attached. Let's find out. And again, they sent me the mic, but I do get to share my full opinion. Let the unboxing begin. Okay, let's do this. Wireless freedom. Battery life, about eight hours. Roughly like a pair of AirPods. Plug and play. Let's actually pull that out. Ooh. The box itself is pretty plain, but don't judge a microphone by its box. The moment of truth. <sighs> So we've got a manual, which might actually come in handy because this is new tech. Wireless desktop USB condenser microphone. What else is inside? Is this the base? Yes, it's the base. That is premium looking. Ah, the microphone itself, of course. Ha, huh. that's light. Beautiful and light. Of course, you got the cable. Oh my goodness. This is what I was hoping for. It's a USB-C to USB-A, but it comes with a Type-C adapter right here. Look at that. I am hoping this works with my iPad. What is this? Fancy. This must be the receiver. Do I want to peel this? Let's peel it. Oh, beautiful. Anything else in the box? Nope. So how much does this weigh? The microphone itself. Exactly 100 grams. Let's add the base plate. 261.1 grams. So the microphone with all its accessories is 321 grams. I'd take that with me on a vacation. Just for reference, the Fifine K688 on its own is 323 grams. All right, let's test this mic. So first we're gonna try it with a USB-A connection. This goes under here, like so. Wait, it's a wireless mic. We're not gonna use the cable. This is for charging. Instead, we grab this and connect it to our computer. The blinking means it's pairing. Now for the actual mic, we gotta turn it on by pressing this button over here and it's on. That is a beautiful blue. But how do we know it's connected? This is how we know. It blinks when we talk. But how does it sound? And it is on. How does that sound? I don't know how the A-Labs Iron Mini WL sounds yet, but it has this fancy feature that'll help me out. Hold on a sec. Just grab my low impedance headphones and this goes in here. Oh my goodness. That is true zero latency monitoring via the receiver. This is such a minimalist setup. Wow, this is a different experience entirely. And I'll say it now, guys, although there might be a bit of static via the receiver, the frequency response is just so smooth. Hello. I think it has a clip guard. Test, test. Hmm, how far can I take this? This is super interesting. I tried to do a series of adapters on my iPhone and of course that wouldn't work. Okay, let's move around the studio and see how this sounds. Huh. I wanna be the very best like no one ever was. Right under the AC. I want to be the very best like no one ever was. Okay, so I have the suspicion that having another wireless microphone with me was adding interference to the recording. So let me get rid of that and let's move around the room again. I want to be the very best like no one ever was. I want to be the very best like no one ever was. I want to be the very best like no one ever was. How does this sound? So I tried to record with my iPad using the default camera app, but I couldn't hear any sound coming from it. But the indicator was blinking. But the more important thing for me as a voice actor was the fact that it did record the audio in the Twisted Wave app. And this is how the Iron Mini WL sounds on Twisted Wave. A bit of silence. Iron Mini WL wireless test. Let's see how far we can go with this mic. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? I can hear me. Can you? I'm not sure, but I'm talking. I'm talking, I'm talking. Can you hear me? How far is 100 meters? Oh my goodness. Gotta keep going. Gotta keep going.
dogs. <laughs> Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Oh, I gotta thank my dear wife for holding the camera. Huh. Did it get all of that? I have no idea. Okay, we've mounted the A-Labs Iron Mini WL onto this boom arm, and let's do some traditional sound tests. And by the way, the mute button does work. Plosive test. About three inches away from the mic. Pesky peas perpetuate problematic plosives. About six inches. Pesky peas perpetuate problematic plosives. Now when I'm kissing the mic, Pesky peas perpetuate problematic- Let's cut that. Now here's a sentence that captures most of the sounds available in American English. Three inches away from the mic. Jack's exuberant brown dog swiftly munched on the ripe guava, vividly dreaming of lazy plush quails in high zest. About six inches away. Jack's exuberant brown dog swiftly munched on the ripe guava, vividly dreaming of lazy plush quails in high zest. About a foot away from the mic. Jack's exuberant brown dog swiftly munched on the ripe guava, vividly dreaming of lazy plush quails in high zest. Let's do a voiceover test in character, commercial, and narration genres. Character. This city never sleeps, and neither do I. I see through the fog chasing the truth. In these streets, my word's law. Commercial. Rise and shine with Joe's Coffee. Robust, rich flavors to kickstart your day. Joe's Coffee. The start to every great day. Narration. In the murky city, Detective Jack uncovers the truth amidst deceit. His gritty voice fills the air. Oh, hear my tale, ye noble souls, of brave old Robert, fierce and bold. He ventured forth into the mall, the devil's lair so dark and raw. Now, because this mic is a condenser, I suspect that it's highly sensitive to environmental sounds. So I turned off the AC and the studio light to see if that would change anything. How does it sound? So you've been hearing the Iron Mini WL with its volume set to 89 on Windows. Now it's set to 1, but normalized in post. How does this sound? And this is the keyboard smashing test for you gamers out there. Is this quiet enough? Okay, let's go to the pros and cons. First pro. This mic actually sounds good. I thought the wirelessness of this mic would result in a drop in quality. It did not, and it actually sounds clean. It's got a wide frequency response of 20 hertz to 20 kilohertz, so it isn't missing any key frequencies. I love that for a very light and small microphone, you get this fairly large sound out of it, especially when you get up close. You got some heft to the bass without muddiness, some punchy mids without the boxiness, you got clarity in the highs without piercing sharpness. Now it isn't perfect, but this microphone does have a pleasant sound. Second pro, it's a 24-bit mic. 24-bit means more detail, more flexibility in post-processing, a lower noise floor, and less chances of distorting. I'm glad that it's 24-bit because every USB mic that I've reviewed so far, except the Mayono DM30, has been a 16-bit microphone. Third pro, it has zero latency monitoring. This feature is practically expected in most modern USB microphones, but the fact that A-Labs got it to work in a wireless setup is impressive. Fourth pro, it's light, which is good for travel. Five, it's compact. Yes, that is a separate pro because the Fifine K688 is light, but not compact. Six, it's wireless, which opens up possibilities. Huh, no cables means you can do cool things like this, and it looks neat. So the being light, compact, and wireless make it a great throw-in-the-bag type of microphone. This is the bag I always carry with me. That is light. Seven, it has gentle noise suppression. And by that, I mean just enough suppression to minimize the distortion and plosives. I had to do the guitar test because anything that tries noise suppression usually makes the guitar sound like it's being covered by a pillow. But to my ear, the guitar sounded clean with the vocals. Eighth pro, it's plug and play. No drivers, I love that. Ninth pro, it lasts eight hours on a full charge. I did not charge this mic after unboxing it. I've been reviewing it for hours now and it still isn't blinking blue, which should indicate a low battery. And the 10th pro is that it's a condenser mic, which means you got a lot of creative freedom with this. Now for the cons. And the first one is the biggest one. Although it has noise suppression, the noise floor appears to be on the higher side. I've been switching between live monitoring and playback, and I've changed up the acoustics in the room, turning things on and off, but it continued to have this gentle hiss. Not the deal breaker kind, but it is there. Here's how it sounds on its own, and with RX-10 voice denoise set to gentle. I want to be the very best like no one ever was. 
I want to be the very best like no one ever was. The third con could just be me being spoiled, but it doesn't have a gain knob, which means you'd have to fiddle with that in your computer's sound settings. The fourth con is a low max SPL of 110 dB based on the manual. That essentially means that if you shout loud enough, even if your gain is set properly, you can still hear the mic distort. So I wouldn't use this mic to record drums. Fifth con, it's 95% plug and play. It works in recording software, but I really wish it could work in the native Apple camera app. It does work in Filmic Pro though. Sixth con, and I can do that because it's wireless. Once in a while, whenever I got loud, I would hear this really high frequency. The manual does say that the mic has to be in the line of sight of the receiver for the optimal sound, and there's actually this monitor that's partially blocking it, so that could be it. Seventh con, it's a condenser mic, so it still captures a lot of ambient noise and reverb. And again, the being a condenser could also be a pro because that gives you creative control. Now for my final thoughts. The A-Labs Iron Mini WL is not a gimmick mic. It has a respectable sound quality versus its competition. Now I don't know the competition yet because I don't know the price yet, but assuming that it ends up in the $50 to $80 range, it'll perform well there. With mild noise reduction, you can use this for podcasts, covers, and voiceovers. I was so worried that I would experience audio drop-offs, pops, and clicks because it's wireless, but the connection has been 100% solid within the range that it's designed for. No Bluetooth pairing to fiddle with and no delays. Just plug the receiver into your device and turn on the mic and they are connected. Who would have thought? Wireless studio condenser microphone. Crazy idea? Mature implementation. This beauty is not a half-baked product, but I would be excited to see A-Labs improve two things in their next model. One is to lower the noise floor, and the second is to add gain control, whether through a knob or some kind of a touch screen on the receiver. That would look fancy, as long as they add gain control. Now, if you're interested in this microphone, make sure to check out the links down in the description. But we're not done yet. Make sure to check out this video.